guys, it's Luch. Look who I'm with. Andrea Swenson's back. Welcome back. Thank you. It's good to be back. Now, obviously, you've had three months off. You had a baby, a beautiful baby. I gotta ask, is Columbo dealing with the, is he being out adorable? We had a little uh, depression right immediately after bringing the baby home. Columbo is my dog. And uh, he would go lay in his crate and give me these big sad eyes like, am I not the baby anymore? <laughs> but uh, honestly, I think he's accepted the fact that like we just have a new puppy now. Yeah. And he uh, goes up to her face and licks her. And he's really sweet. So it all worked out. Now, we always talk about how music marks certain times in your life. And you'll always think of something when you hear a certain song. Have you already had those moments now? What, like what? Well, I put together a bunch of playlists for when she was actually born. Mm -hmm. um, so she was born to Brian Eno, Babies on Fire. Nice! During the um, Robert Fripp guitar solo. <laughs> <laughs> and then it went into um, Stars, The Night Starts Here, which yes. is just one of my favorite songs too. So those, I mean, I can't even imagine hearing those songs like out in public and my I mind's going to go to that space. I know. Um, but then we've been listening to so much music at home, things that calm her down and things that she likes. Brandi Carlisle's uh, The Mother absolutely really? devastates me. Well, it devastates you, yes. And do you, do you see response and do you, do you feel like there are certain sounds or kinds of music that she likes more than others? Yeah, she really likes uh, Mountain Man. Mountain Man? We've been She's listening to that album a lot. It's yeah. very mellow mm -hmm. and very um, just kind of soothing for her. So that one like, puts her to sleep. Rain tang wing She likes upbeat stuff too, so we've noticed like if she's starting to have a little bit, we just put on the Beatles uh, Abbey Road. <laughs> that whole like, I don't know, suite of different songs. It, it's just like very kid friendly, I think, and it sounds nice. She's three months old and already you had to have already thought about her in a form in a band. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, what what would her role be in the band? She has very big hands okay. and really long fingers, and I think she could totally shred the guitar. Yes. <laughs> Just yes. looks like she's like, and she's always going like this anyway, kind of like feeling out yes. the world. So I think she's like really primed to play guitar. So you come back, and I I know from experience, if you're gone and you come back, and obviously hosting the local show, um, you entrusted it with a bunch of people to to take over for it. Did you listen to the local show? Did oh, you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And do you feel now like you have a world to catch up with? Yes. Yeah. But I, what I was hoping for with having all those guest hosts is that there was a bunch of music that was brought in yes. that didn't even necessarily come out in that time period. Mm -hmm. Maybe it came out a few years ago, but I just missed it. So like Maria Issa brought in all of this amazing, like kind of historical, like Latin music. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, Greg Grease, obviously I knew he was going to kind of call from like, the hip hop and R&B music that he likes, but I definitely discovered a bunch of stuff through him, and it was so fun to hear what I would have never found by myself. Yeah. So, yeah, that was awesome. And now my uh, inbox is very overwhelming, oh. but I kind of feel like I'm cramming for a test I know. to get ready to put together, like, the year-end end list. I know. So if there's something that came out this year from a Minnesota artist, please tell me about it. Do not assume that I've heard anything, because I'm doing my best. And you're doing the local show this Sunday. No, actually, I have a couple oh, more weeks to catch up. You do? Um, the Sunday's Time Machine Weekend, and then we're going to hear from Mark Wheat. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then we're going to hear from Jesse Wiza, who produced all of the episodes while I was out, and then I'll be back in the saddle on December 16th doing the first of three kind of year-end wrap-ups. Andrea Swanson, <laughs> welcome back. Thank you.